Guys, this is Donna from Always New Times, and I was just speaking to some people that we know down in Florida. U.S. Kiwi, this one's for you. We're going to make a box oven. Um, that storm's going to come really close to a lot of y'all, and you might lose power and need to feed your family. So, take a box, and this is duct tape. Any duct tape will do. The rainbow is not necessary. And we're just going to duct tape this together. Then And I'll be able to make a solid connection when we cut to make the door. Now, if you can find two boxes, one slightly smaller than the other, so this would fit inside, that would be the best scenario. Try and make as straight of a cut as possible. Um, I don't do straight lines really that well, as you'll be able to see in a moment. Being careful not to cut yourself, because in an emergency situation, blood is not a good thing. Blood is not a good thing anytime, but in particular in an emergency situation. Okay, so we're going to cut three sides, and this is going to be our lid. Now we're going to take aluminum foil. If you have heavy duty, that's, that's great. If you don't, use what you have, and we can always... Double it if, if we need it. Okay. And we're going to line the inside of the box. So try and get as tight a fit as possible. A little bit of tape to hold that down. Holding it in half gives you a little bit more maneuverability. I have actually used a box oven and I've made cakes and um roasts, anything that you can make in a regular oven. Okay, now we're going to just line the inside of the lid. Just going to take a little duct tape and roll it.
to kind of hold that in place. And okay, first things first, this is a plastic table. Do not use a plastic table. You're going to want to use cinder blocks, uh, bricks, whatever. Pie tin, I'm going to turn it upside down. This, I'm going to put the cake pan, I'm going to put in here for put the briquettes on. If you have bricks, it will work better. But if you don't, use what you have. That's a couple of loaf pans. I'm going to take this in, slide it down. I will show you what it looks like in just a moment. Okay, like okay, like I said, if you this is all you have, this is how you do it. You light your your briquettes. When they're ready, you slide them inside. Put your food on top of here. Close your door. Now, if you want, you can take a wire hanger and poke it through and make yourself a handle to pull the door open. Okay, another way we can do this is if you have bricks, line the bottom. Put your briquettes in using your channel locks because it's going to be hot. Put your cookie sheet or your cooling rack or whatever you need to use to make your shelf. Close the door and put something in front of it to keep it from blowing open. This is going to get hot. It's not going to catch fire, but it is going to get very hot. So you want to do this on top of cinder blocks. You want to do this on top of concrete. Let me say this again. I don't believe it's going to catch fire. I have never had it catch fire. But you're going to want to put this on top of concrete or on cinder blocks. You want to do it outside. Like everything else, this is charcoal. You don't burn charcoal inside. There's your box oven. Please, please say, stay safe. If you can evacuate, evacuate. You are all in my prayers. Be careful. And as always, share your knowledge.